take a walk. It's the same as take a walk on the road. Suffer walk. But it's different. Suffer walk on the water. Stand up paddleboard is a water sports on which paddlers can stand on the water between paddlers and water there is a subboard stand up paddleboard and then paddlers can use a paddle to forward paddling is very good today Today, when the water is coming up in high tide, I decided to the supper walk on the water. So I bring a sub racing board with a four meter length. I prepare to the sub and wearing what suit and putting on wet boots and then take a paddle and also a mobile phone in the waterproof bag bring to the bring them to the shoreline the sun rose up and sun was warm and the water is cold about nine degree and then so So, and then the mist and fog spread around the beach side and then fog coming up to the rent side. Paddling away is dangerous so and then when the mist and uh, in the pole and the vision is uh, limited vision is limited so um, i decided to paddle along the beach side for safety and waves a little bit small not for the surfing so I paddle to the right side to the rock area, coastal area. It was a good exercise to do. And then I expected when I would paddle back and then I could uh, surf, stand up paddle for the surfing with this, some 
waves. And I reached the coastal area. I looked around and then I made a video for safety rules to aware the beginners uh, keep the rules shallow water and dangerous uh, rock and oyster shells. Um, after then, and uh, I paddled back on my way to paddling back. I saw uh, some waves a little bit big, and then so I tried to surfing, and I tried to surf. Do you surf? I try to do surfing. I tried to do surfing. Mm. So um, it was enjoyable. Uh, I came back to my shop after paddling. <clears throat> taking a walk is one thing, but taking a stroll on the water, that's a whole different ball game. Oh, stand up paddleboarding is like gliding through the pages of Harry Potter novel. What? Only this time you're the wizard of on the water. Today, with the high tide rolling in, I decided to embark on self adventure. I grabbed my trust racing board, checked my gear. Donned the sleek white suit, slipped into waterproof boots, and uh, made sure to my essential, including my mobile phone and its waterproof bag, were all set. As the sun rose, casting its warmth over the misty waters, I set out along the beachside. The waves were calm, but potion prevailed as boots pepped for the horizon, making fairing a bit three curious. Don't get it. Often for safety, I stood close to the show, stuck close to the show, steering clear of any potential harder. Navigating through the gentle wave, I found myself drawn to the coastal area. It was a rewarding exercise, paddling past the rocky outcrops and I feeling the rhythm of the sea beneath me. While the waves were uh, ideas for surfing, I reached the opportunity to hone my skills, imagine myself conquering them in the future. After reaching the coastal area, I thought to take in the scenery and recorded a quick video 
reminding beginner of the potential danger of working beneath the surface, shallow water, treacherous rock, and the sharp oyster shells. As I began my journey back, I couldn't reach the allure of the slightly larger waivers. With a surge of adrenaline, I attempted some impromptu surfing, leveling in the drill of the ride in the waves. Returning to shore, in big gorway kits and contain, I made my way back to the shop, reflecting on the day's adventure, so truly offers the perfect blend of tranquility and excitement, a reminder of the pure joy of being out on the water until the next tide uh, beckons. That concludes today's paddling escape, 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 escape. What the words?